We'll guide you through how to download and get the Minecraft minimap mod in 1.21.5. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. The minimap is really useful because you can then go and see where you are in the side of your screen. We'll guide you through how you can go and install it. So to get started, let's close out of Minecraft. Now what you need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. In this case, I'll go and use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. Here we are. What we need to do is go and type in X A E R O apostrophe S zeros minimap like so, and we can search for that. What we can do is head to the CurseForge site. Here we are. You can scroll down and read some info about it, but I'll be guiding you through how you can go and get it. So at the top, you need to press files. You're going to see the different files here. The main thing you're going to go and notice is the game version and mod loader. For the game version, of course, we want it to be 1.21.5. For the mod loader, make sure it's Forge. You may go and see there are older versions as well, but we'll get the most up-to-date one at the top here. Press the three dots and press download file and then wait. You can see this countdown here. When this finishes, it will automatically go and download as you can see. Then what we can do is come back. Now we've got it as we need to go and get a launcher to go and run it. That launcher is Forge. That is also known as the model loader. So what we can do is go and type in Forge Minecraft like so and come to the official Forge site at the top. Come to the left and you can select 1.21.5 and what we can then do is go and see the option for installer. Go and click on it like so and then you can go and wait here. Just be aware this is an ad wall. If you see a download button is for the ad. To go and download Forge we need to click skip in the top right. Now it's gone and downloaded. A big shout out to the sponsor Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server go and check them out. They're linked in the description and the pinned comment. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. So it's definitely worth going and checking them out. We can scroll down here and go and see some of their great features like one click install mod packs, 24 seven servers and support, meaning you can go and get the help anytime you need it amongst many other great things as well. So definitely go and check them out if you're in need of a server. But now to go and continue, what we can do is come out of our web browser, open up your file explorer and come to downloads. You need to go and find Forge here. Go and double click on it like so. If you find it doesn't open up or nothing happens, then what we need to do is make sure we've got Forge. So open up your web browser and what you can do is go and head to java.com, download Java, and you can then go and install it like any other program. Come back to Forge and right click on it, hover over open with, press choose another app, and you can then go and select Java and press always. It should then run. If this still doesn't, you'll need to try doing something called a jar fix. We've got a guide on that and it links jar and Java files together again. Select install client and press OK. It'll run through. It shouldn't take too long, hopefully. When it's finished, you'll go and know as you'll go and get a success pop up. When it's finished, it'll go and say successfully installed. Next, we need to go and open up the Minecraft launcher just like so. In the launcher, go to the top and press installations. Now you need to go and scroll down until you go and see Forge. Hover over it and press on the open installations folder icon to the right. Scroll down and go and find the mods folder. What you can then do is double click on it, come into your downloads and drag Zero's minimap in. That's it. Then what you can do is you can come, hover over Forge and press play to the right. Confirm you're playing a modified version of Minecraft and press play. Here we are and if we go and look in the top right, we can go and see it there. If I go and press Y on my keyboard, we can then press change position. You could go and change where it is. We can press view settings and you could go and make it square if you wanted to and you can do different things with it as well. But that's it, it's really convenient to have. 